This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tutorial review and today something I had my eye on for a while. Uh, it's not a transformer, this is... I, you don't even know if it's considered a third party because it's not any representation of any character we know or that I know of. It's just a really cool combiner, a really cool toy. This is the, uh, how do you pronounce this? Hold on. Tun, Tunjilul. This is the Tunjilul Tank Alliance. You can see here, uh, robot deformation and robot deformation. And in the back you have all the six individual little tank and the nice head sculpt with a little smirk. I got my eye, oh this is actually something I'll review when I do the combined form, this is pretty cool, and transform world. So you know, no mention of the word transformer per se, but you get the inspiration. So it's a combiner, it's a set of six tank that I got from Amazon on special for 59 Canadian. Well actually my son got it for me uh, for my birthday, it was a late present and I kind of bugged him about it. You know, just, hey, are you thinking of getting me anything? So we caved in and it, it's awesome. Uh, today we're gonna do, cause I'm gonna do all six tanks individually, um, just for content purposes. And they're actually quite fun figure by themselves. And also I wanna do a uh, seven video where I'm gonna show the uh, weapon storage mode and the combiner. Um, they don't have names as, far as I can tell, like these are the instructions and all they have is that GT37 for this one and each tank is numbered um, differently. Uh, it's like, it, but the, the sequence all match, like it's from 34 to 38 or 39, 39. Uh, but it's all different terms. And I am not a tank expert and that's my, not problem here, but I really wanted to go online and show you, you know, find pictures and show you what tank this was. Um, they look like war, World War II tanks, most of them. Uh, some of them are a little different, but then I'm not a tank expert, I'm not military, I don't have any background, I don't have any knowledge of anything. So instead of saying, oh, this looks like this tank here, and then get it absolutely wrong and I don't want to insult anybody who's been in the military so this is GT37 he's the top force tor uh, the top part of the robot so the torso the upper chest and he's pretty good so we're going to take a look at that today and then each we each day of uh, you know each each review I'll present you a different tank but it's a fantastic set uh, but I will in this video show you all the tanks uh, all together just to give you a heads up of uh, what they look like. So there you go. So before I do so, make sure you check out the voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store where you can get 10% discount code at the end of this video. So now let's roll the intro. Okay, let's uh, get this first review started, and we're going to do GT37. Um, I just want to keep all the other guys there for, uh, well, it's simpler setup. So basically, you have both instructions, from robot to tank, and then you have from tank to robot. And the instructions for the combined mode are on a separate sheet, uh, where it shows you how to transform each limb and uh, how to assemble them. And the assembly itself, it's quite simple. Um, so, you know, it's fun and refreshing. So I will do, they came in as tanks, so I'm gonna do the review uh, like that. And he's already mistransformed, so, you know, bonus. There you go. So that's the instructions. And we're gonna take a look at the tank mode. He looks really good. I love the uh, little uh, details in the wheels, the thread, the paint on this guy. 
is simply perfect. You have the silver um, on the dark gray, but it really, uh, really shines. You have the darker gray here uh, with the little highlights. Uh, the back cleans up real nice. Uh, the alt modes clean up. They all clean up pretty good. There is some hollowness in the robot mode, so you'll see in a moment. Uh, but that's you know not a bad thing and look at all the details you have like a I guess a mini turret and then some traps if you want to open and see I don't know I'm not a tank guy so um, and the the there's a full rotation of the turret so you can merry go around you have a you know a good angle for that uh, cannon uh, but that's about it there's no wheels so that's a little sad there's no wheels so we he, he, they don't roll they they just you know slide but it's you know not bad uh, but I like the details I like the way it looks you know the, the open uh, I guess canopy is the word um, but I don't know if there's a different word for uh, for a tank but that's the uh, the door uh, should open there you have the little the place here where you know somebody can peek out i'm guessing and if you're a tank expert please write in the comment everything i got wrong about the tank and also uh you know what tank was it where was it used when was it used which country and everything so that that would be at this point i i have a little interest in that so that's cool so all right so that's this guy so we're gonna do the transformation. I mean, you can see the comparison with everything. Uh, maybe I can compare him with just a regular transformer, just to give you a uh, little idea. Hold on. So there he is with the uh, Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Jazz. So you know he's bigger than the Deluxe. Um, I'll do a scale with the uh, robot mode as well, but gives you an idea uh, of the size of, uh, of these guys. All right, and now for a world record. Uh, I'm going to do on-screen transformation because it's quite simple and I'm guessing I'm not a lot of people are gonna actually do this but I'm just gonna do tank to robot I won't do the, the other one because uh, you pretty much can uh, you know put the uh, the video in reverse and it's gonna work so what you do is open this up so you have two pins that plugs into these little holes here and it's very stable so little pegs and then there's another peg here at, in the middle of the tread that goes with it. So that gives you an idea. So you remove these like this. And then you want to, the instruction won't show you, but you basically you flip everything up. And there's a clip here that goes on the side here. Some of them have more satisfying click than this guy. And then once you did that, you can lift the canopy and now pop the head, which you will clip in from this clip to this hole here. There you go. And this one stores just uh, push it back. So it stays there in robot mode. Some of them will rotate downward. You'll see in the other reviews. So now that you have done this, you want to remove the, put this down, lift this up here. And basically you see here there's a, a gap the hand is hidden here so you're gonna want to this one's really tight some have tighter joint than the others so where's the joint there it is there you go so you want to unfold the hand and then flip the end out so see Simple engineering, but it works. Look at the face sculpt on this guy. All right, the other side, wanna lift the tread. Make sure you know where the joint is because it's kind of confusing on your couple first time. And, come on. Oh, you have to, sorry, that's my bad. You have to unfold this and then you remove it. So basically the elbows are on double joints. So you just use that to your advantage. Flip the hand. There you go. And now all you have to do is unfold the legs. 
Now this one is unique to him. You want to take this, turn it and put it down. So that's going to give you his feet. And there you go. So this is uh, GT37. And I wish they had a better way to peg this because it just kind of stands there, you know. But there you go. Let me just go get his gun. There you go. So that's GT37 with his little gun. All the guns are painted the same. They do have some hollowness in it. So that's inspired by Hasbro, you know. Uh, but it's not too bad. I I dig it. Like he's... Let's do some scale and then I will do articulation. So let's say this guy versus my boy Sunstreaker from Earthrise. So he's bigger than a deluxe. Uh, so, you know, he's about Voyager size. So there you go. A little, well, head to head, Optimus Prime is a little taller. So there you go. All right, and now I'm going to show you the combine mode. So basically I lied. If I want to show everything, I have to put him back into a tank and then do the, uh, the, com the, 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 I guess, combination mode. So, but it's, you know, as you saw, it's quite simple. Put this in, flip this. I guess I'm doing a full complete transformation of everything. Sorry for, you know, skip to the area that you need. If you're here just for the transformation, you're, you know, welcome to leave a comment. Let me know if my on-screen instructions are actually a little helpful. Uh, Cause I'm debating if I should start permanently doing transformation. And now this guy won't clip. Where is the clip? There it is. So you wanna, Oop, nope, not this. Ah, oh, well, well, that did the trick. There you go. So now the other hand, push the end back in. Make sure the wrist is sticking out, I guess. Uh, uh, this way. And then uh, satisfying click, lift this up so you have your ends are done. So now you want to pop the head back. Put the tank on top and you see, oh, I'm going to show it. There's two clips here. That's what's going to hold the canopy over it. Or whatever you call this section of the tank. There you go. It's pretty sturdy. So then you want to push this back and reclip this part here and the two little clips. Come on, it's just to get the pins lined up and then you're golden. So there you go. So we're back in tank mode. And now to do the combination. So basically this is the combination sheet. You know, they show you how to do everything. So this is what we're gonna be looking at. Well, I'll be looking at it and try not to mess it up. So basically same thing, you wanna unhook this and then you wanna Hold on. I'm gonna go like this. Yeah, that's what it says. All right, you put him like this, and then here you're gonna wanna move this like that. All right. Oh yeah, remember this one's a little tricky. Uh, you wanna fold the panels down for that as well. All right, and then after that. Oh, I can't show you. Okay, well, this guy, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to place him. It's weird until you put all the clips in, uh, which I can do right now. So this is part one. Now after that, you want to unfold, uh, unfold the leg so that they go on each side. And I swear it looks flimsy, but it works. So basically you want to put that pin here in this like underneath here so that it doesn't hinder anything. So you want to put the swivel joint here, push it completely forward and there you go. So that it's nice and firm, not firm, but you know, tight. Oh yeah. 
So you want to lift this and put the head like you know leave it like this but then you're gonna want to take this part here and do this and they go in this section here and of course you know what they say eh? on camera the camera adds 10 step and basically now you have um, two pins here that are gonna go and well there's two holes i don't know if you can see them but there's two little pegs here two holes so you want to put it there and honestly this guy is probably the least stable in his mode because there's a piece that's going to plug here and here that's going to kind of make him hold nice and tight but that's the upper torso uh, just before you put put on the uh, the head so there you go guys that's my review of gt37 is that the yeah gt37 the french word of the day is going to be shawl vessel which basically means tank or assault vehicle i guess uh and i think i'm gonna need to find names for all of these guys just for fun so this guy is going to be larry yeah it's a great name for a transformer larry so i'm gonna put him on the side tomorrow or whenever you're gonna watch this it will be this guy here which is wwt 36 and um i'm going to do the same thing i did here transformation and hopefully i'm going to get better at it and he's also a little more complicated these guys are easier uh, to transform and these are super simple and uh, once i have all the parts all together all you'll see as we go in the series they're all going to be displayed uh, I'm going to leave this here. And once we have all the parts, then I'm going to be ready to do the combined video. And that's going to be amazing. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.